Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to our Lord of the Rims playthrough in RimWorld. When we last left off, we were building up our base, forging some armor. This is probably going to be the... It might be the penultimate episode of the whole series, really. Maybe not, though. I guess it all depends on when... Um, when 1.0 drops, which could still be like a couple of weeks away for all I know. But uh, this is going to be probably the penultimate episode before we go ahead and fight Smaug. So, there is that. Also, we have a... The Kingdom Under the Mountain is approaching. They're not as good as our Kingdom Under the Mountain, of course. But, you know, we've got some... We've got some lovely people here. We've got the best people. Oh, wow. Some guys are over here. Some guys are over there. It's all good. You know, at some point, I really do want to wander over here and try to steal some of this sweet, sexy insect jelly, which would be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I mean, if these little guys keep dying every now and then, yeah, like the big ones, because I'm pretty sure these, like, the, the spiders themselves aren't what reproduces more bugs. It's like the hive itself, so presumably if I kill some of the bugs, or maybe even all the bugs. Actually, I'm kind of concerned that if I kill all the bugs, then we won't get anything else. But uh, if we kill some of the bugs, then who knows what we might get for our troubles. Anyway, the, the important thing... Of all the important things... Is that... Uh, where is the actual trade person? They're all coming in from every which way. Sometimes so difficult to tell. Who's our best uh, negotiator, anyway? That would be... Uh, I guess that would be you, Iron. There you are. Entertain guests and recruit new colonists. Wait, how's that different from recruit prisoners, recruit new colonists? Oh. Alright, so I might actually want this to be... Uh, well, maybe not necessarily super high priority, but uh, something that we, you know, have people working on. Yeah. Anyway. So you, you're you're one of those, like, really super cool people. Let's uh, see what the Kingdom Under the Mountain has to trade today. Maybe we can get rid of some of our garbage while we're at it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I've, I've noticed this. It might just be me, and it, and also... My apologies if this has been pointed out in the comments already, but I think the prepare cram thing is producing pemmican. I don't know if it, that's supposed to be happening or if like pemmican is supposed to, or cram is supposed to be its own thing in the Lord of the Rims mod. That does seem to be what's happening for me right now. And it might just be a some kind of mod conflict on my end. I'm not really sure. Oh, here's some components of which we actually apparently already have a handful. Not that we really need any. Uh, they're... Okay, they've got a, a little puzzle box. A magic puzzle box of dwarven make with holes, slides, and knobs. An elf doll. Dwarven made elf doll. Uh, a delightful child's toy enchanted by dwarf magic. It can talk when pressed gently. The maker of this doll also enchanted it with a few oofs when squeezed harder than normal. Well, that's cool. I can't make that, but I don't. I also don't really know what the point of having it would be. You know, given the... Yeah, circumstances. Uh, let's see. Do I actually really want to sell anything? I mean, I guess this, uh, the, some of the lower quality stuff that we have. That we're not actively using right- Wow, they actually have a lot of money on them. That's cool. Uh. Yeah, I'll get rid of- Wow, a masterwork quality hat. Oh yeah, I even made a dwarven king's crown off, off camera there. Berserker's chain. Be here. Uh, I'm assuming that that's from the Medieval Times mod, given, like, all the details it has on it, since that mod does tend to be pretty in-depth in what it, uh, yeah, in the information it provides. Ooh, Techno Socks. Don't really know why I need Techno Socks. By Swish Industries, these socks are used by famous celebrities and sports athletes on several planets. Is this... It's from? There's a part of me that figures that's gotta be... 
Like, because it's got that little icon there and it gives all this information that makes me think it's uh, a modded thing, but it could be vanilla and I've just never seen it before. Could get rid of these iron double beds. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that though. Uh, hardened tortoise shell dwarven stool. I mean, there's a part of me that says, hey, I should buy some beer for my hardworking dwarves. Pretty expensive beer, but no, we're gonna start our own beer industry. We'll be fine. We don't we don't need them. Anyhow. So yeah, basically this episode is just us preparing for What's this? Lem Lembus flat why is the Lembus flower being stored in here when it should totally be stored on these shelves? Uh that be under raw resources? Where would I where is that? Lembus flower be found. Do I don't see it in here. Can't matter. Uh, aha, there it is. Yeah, we'll let plant matter be stored in, on our shelves as well. This stuff doesn't decay, does it? it? Does. It takes a long time, but yeah, we'll, we'll let. Uh... Oh wait, which? Uh... Yeah, plant matter. Turn that on. And then copy settings and paste all those settings. Yeah, that way we can store our stuff right here. Makes life ever so much easier. Yeah, we've got some capybaras moving on through here. That's cool. We, we're we apparently salting our herbal medicine. Spoils in over a decade. Yeah, because that's, that's totally where you want to keep your herbal medicine is in a salting pot. Beautiful. All right. I'm thinking I may possibly, I could be mistaken, but I may possibly have been misinformed about uh, about uh, the production of Lembus flower here, since it seems like we're still like you know, a reasonable amount of uh, stuff is going into this. It also occurs to me maybe I should, uh, yeah, set up something like this: grind in bulk. Then grind regularly, but also like make sure that making the actual bread is top priority. Spoils in 11, wow, 11 days. Okay, that's, I mean, that's important to know that our, uh, like our Lembus bread, I find it would last longer than that, but apparently not. It's a bit sad, but you know, we, we learn new things every day. Uh, or wait, repair Lembus. Wait, hang on a second here. This requires the Lembus flower. Lembus, oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, long lasting whey bread, which is, okay, there we go. Now, now I'm getting it. This is just like the regular loaves. Then we've got our, uh, I think I'll only make like 60. Yeah, and then unpause it. Yeah, you unpause at 60. One pause at uh, 30, and yeah, let's uh, let's bump up the cooking skill required here to let, let's say six. I don't want just anyone making our, uh, our Lembus bread. Though maybe I should make it even higher. We'll see. But things are starting to come together, so I like that. And yeah, this is eventually going to become our um, yeah some uh, honey suckle plant thingies. Eventually. Well, I mean, assuming it, it actually will grow outside. I mean, it, the game very specifically says it will not. Also, it occurs to me, if I if I just wanted crops for growing, I should be growing poplars, because poplars apparently, they, uh, they have a very, like, short growing time. They probably don't produce much wood, but, like, what am I doing here? Yeah, cancel that for a second. We don't we don't need to go all the way out of our way here. There we go. That's what I meant. Got a uh, I won't kill the fox. Foxes deserve to live. What's the spider population looking like by the by? Um is uh it, it's spidering. Though they do seem to be dying off. So that's a plus. I assume it's cuz there's enough predatory animals that can fight back. Wow, that's 
pretty big herd over here as well. All right, life is pretty good. Life is pretty good indeed. So I like that. Um, what we probably really need to do, I think, is uh, like this. This rice thing is okay for now, but we should really have like a a proper. How long does this stuff take to grow anyway? Eight days, though it's obviously taking longer because we have this whole, uh, like, this is supposed to grow underground, isn't it? It will root, grow slowly outside of caves, which implies that if it wasn't in a cave, it would be growing faster. Right. Also, it's a non-ideal temperature because it is winter time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, we got our brain rehabilitation. I mean, we're getting a lot of work done. Oh, good God, it's an alpha beaver. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Before they take out all my beautiful trees that take 10,000 years to grow in the first place. They don't actually take 10,000 years. What, what is the act? Are you high as a kite? You're gonna kill our animals and also possibly Strorin over there. Yeah. Shoot it at this super close range. There you go. Good job, man. Gonna... We'll never do hauling. Good, good job, you dick. Who's idle? Ajit, who was just kind of wandering around in the prisons where he lived not that long ago. Cool story. All right. Well, I mean, I guess if we wanna wanna keep things busy around here, we probably should a little bit of minorizing, then wall building and other things of that general nature. There we go, wall building, floor building. There we go, we want our, we want the bedrooms of our fine upstanding citizens to be fine and upstanding and generally nice to look at. We want people to actually want to live in our big old hole under the ground or under the mountain. I'm also kind of thinking to myself, we might want to do like a Hobbit playthrough next time. Pretty cool. Who doesn't want to, who doesn't want to hang with hobbits, right? Hobbits are cool people. Possibly the best people. I should know. Well, I don't even really know what that's supposed to mean. Either I'm crazy and think that hobbits are real or... Or something. Let, 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 let's stick with something. Anyway, the important thing is that this is all coming together quite nicely. Like, I like it. I'm happy. Got the beginnings of some new bedrooms eventually that are gonna live here. Probably want to get these boulders out of here as well. All right, good. All right, and make sure the floors are nicely smoothed if I haven't done that already. I need to smooth, you know, floors where no floors are gonna be. So that'd be that'd be just making. Useless busy work. I really should expand this as well so we can get more of our crafty stuff in here and also fit some like tool benches and other useful things. Other useful features. Alright, let's see here. Let's uh, get our beds installed so that we at least have those there. Right, there we go. Alright. Actually, do I, is normal good enough? I don't know if normal's good enough. I like good beds. Good or better? There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright. And also hull that. Good, good, good. I mean, Gain's probably a little upset there. Gain is making gains in his sleep. That's good. Good for him. Man, this is such an awesome... Such an awesome hull. I mean, to be honest, I might... I think if we were to do this again, I might even rework things so that, uh... I mean, for one, if I really had more control and, like, fought this out from the first place, this would have been, like, a... The hull would have been, like, going long ways like this. With, uh... Hmm. Actually, at least an interesting thing. Because as I recall, I can't rotate the throne. If I could, I would, like... The hull would be long ways like this. And the throne would be, obviously, like, with the seat part facing the other way. Also, there's an art installation on this, so let's have a read. It is called a gaiety. This furniture bears a depiction of Illyrian welcoming Dwully as he becomes a colonist with a hearty handshake. Dwully looks relieved. There is a cave off to one side, while the modern style of the central scene clashes with the folksy depiction of the background. This image, blah, 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 blah. This image refers to the recruitment of Dwully 
on the 15th of September, September, 5501. And also, we have Black Hawk here. Not Black Hawk Down, just regular Black Hawk. An engraving on this furniture is shaped like Danny's, looking towards the horizon with an eager look in her eyes. Danny's is a she? Uh, you don't have a beard, so I guess I guess it makes a certain amount of sense. Anyway, yes, with a look, an eager look in her eyes, a force is visible in the distance. The image somehow expresses both contemplation and desire. A dead mouse lies near the edge of the image. This betrayal relates to Danny's forming a caravan on the 8th of April, May 5501. Okay. Oh, what do you know? You are, in fact, a girl, Danny's. You are also good at fighting, right? Eh, you're kind of mediocre at it, but then again, we don't get you to do it all the time, so... You know, not exactly a knock against your character. Not everyone's meant to be like a super soldier of doom. I mean, we probably... Probably really don't want too many of those running around, to be honest with you. Now, let's also... Let's see, if I go into planning here... So, 11 squares in... Alright. So, we need to, like, mine out little bit here. Yeah, like a free square thingy here, and then we can like stick this in here so we have our supports, and then we'll, uh, we'll mine the rest out from there. So we don't want too many people wandering around idly by not doing any work. Also, uh, Khajiit, is there a reason why you're not making this hornbow? Yeah, prioritize smithing. You have no time to be sitting around idly by. Uh, speaking of... Can I, like, force you to have to work? No. Need wood. Need material. Wait. Cannot smith granite. Why, why can't we not smith? Do we really not have enough, uh... Make another hornbow? I guess not. Is why more wood is very, very important right now. Alright. So, uh... Actually, let's, uh, let's mine this edge out as well. Alright. Symmetry is very, very important to me for reasons that I, that even I don't fully understand, but uh, I consider them important and so that is how we do things here on, here in the world. Uh, gaslight, that's not how that's supposed to look. There we go. And yeah, I'm not gonna worry about building the extra fireplaces yet, but I want the I want the installations to exist for, you know, when the time is right, as it were. Alright, hopefully uh, this doesn't all start like collapsing on my head here before things actually get built. That would kinda suck. But then again, sometimes that's just how life is. And, you know, you gotta Gotta deal with those times and smile and just uh, try to make the best of what you got. We also need lots more wood. Like, wood is probably one of the most important resources that we do not have nearly enough of right now. So, speaking of, let's uh, go see if we can find some wood to chop. I mean, I'm a little skeptical about chopping wood near all these spiders. Which there is one, two, three spiders. Ah, ah, ah. But yeah. God, trees grow so slowly. You know what, I really should look to see if there's a mod that lets trees grow. Like, I don't want to get rid of all the trees, but at the same time, I feel like that's kind of what we need right now. Oh good, we've made all the mountain dwarf armor that we, that we need. Alright. And another bandit camp opportunity. Ooh, a power claw. That sounds pretty cool. As we load the map yet again. I mean, we haven't actually looked at um, at things as of yet. So yeah, we've got like one, two, three, four bandit camps to, to fight. These are all human bandit camps as well of the dark unit. You know what? After we take out Smaug, if there's time, we'll maybe take care of the bandit camps as well. I really wish we would get attacked by the dark unit instead of just, like, dwarven raids all the time, because that gets kind of boring after a while. Because there are plenty of factions out there. I'm not sure if it's, like, a result of, like, the faction control mod or just, like, the way, uh... 
Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Delgarandir, fight! In fact, everyone, fight! Fight the spider. I, I really should have seen this coming. Oh, sweet, merciful baby Jesus, why? Oh, Delgarandir, why? Why did you have to so loyally listen to an idiot like me? Oh, Lord. Oh, you're fighting them like a boss, Delgarand. Oh, you took one of them out, Delgarandir. You are truly a god among men. Also, this gives us a perfect opportunity to get rid of these goddamn spiders. Which, I, I, admittingly, I should have done something about this a lot sooner. Oh, sweet, merciful god. No, not the Lembus! All right, how bad is your health? Eh, you're in no immediate danger. It's just like the pain that's like, you can walk that off. The rest of you are like making your way over here, right? Yamfin, shoot the spider, my brother. Brother dwarf. Okay. Brother dwarf, not in any way affiliated with Brother Bear, the Disney movie. All right, there we go. Yeah, unrecruit everyone. Uh, what are you doing? You're gonna haul the giant spider to eat. You can uh, rescue, rescue our friend here. Is there anyone who's also close? You're, you're reasonably close. Before you go back, uh, go ahead and haul that Lembus. You, uh, Storin here. You can uh, go and haul this axe. All right, good. Oh, and all right, never mind. You're actually perfectly fine. Hold on. Uh, yeah, equip that. Then, so is your shirt like all busted up? I guess it is. Uh, hang, hang on. Go ahead and haul that while you're up here. And we'll mark that to be hunted. Yay, well, that was, uh, that worked out nicely. Oh, what, what's this? We also have a bunch of ambrosia that's just kind of growing over here. Cool. All right, life, uh, life ended up working pretty well. Ooh, there's peaches up here. And also apples should harvest these peaches and apples and maybe check out these creepy cocoons that currently contain nothing anyone else a little bit disturbed by the fact that this giant spider turned into a skeleton spiders don't have bones actually you know what? I don't know don't even want to think about like the mechanics of that uh, Delgarander could you like maybe go rest until you're healed and then like have someone pick you up because I, I don't want you dying my good sir that would kind of suck oh we also have uh, a bow lying around yeah you can uh, go ahead and equip the wait which one use the better shot gain is the better shot so gain can you're a brawler and you'll be unhappy Ah, oh, good some people all right oh I should have paid attention to what he was doing you might have been doing something important already like hauling things Anyway, who are you? You're just a random alpaca. All right, that's cool. I mean, a uh, guy who's like really good at shooting, but he doesn't, how did he get good at shooting if he hates shooting? This is what confuses me. Probably better not to ask these questions. Dang gummit. Or Dale Garander. Someone's taking the time to like treat you, right? No, the answer is no. Why? Why? Why, God, why? Oh, boy. Oin, what are you... You've got, like, important things to do, Oin. Alright, Delgarander is no longer incapable of walking. Good for him. Alright. I mean, that was a bit of a, a bit of a setback, but we, uh... Someone can reach that, right? Damn it. And there's a mad han... A mad... A mad animal. Yeah. Cool. We'll hunt that. We'll kill it. Deal with it. Oh, sweet, merciful baby Jeebus. Drorin, why? Wait, do you actually have a bow? You do, but... Oh, but you have the axe because you're in, like, close proximity. I gotcha. Oh, sweet, merciful god, why? Oh my god. Drorin... What do you mean, missing primary weapon? Do you like 
drop your bow? What happened to your bow? I am confused now. Did Oh, wait. He literally dropped Why would you drop that bow? Okay, is anyone coming to help you? The answer is no, because I didn't, like, actually explicitly order it. Ah, uh, Jeebus. Why? Why must I micromanage everything? Goddamn mad hair. Okay, this thing is down, so maybe, maybe fight the, uh... Oh. Yeah, fight the things that you don't actually... Like, that could kill you right now. Don't... Oh, sweet merciful god, why? They keep... They just keep coming! All right, this is another case of recruit everyone and attack the goddamn, like, wild rabbits of Herbanog or Herbanog? Cherbanog? Whatever they are, they're satanic rabbits. That's all you need to know, honestly. At the end, oh my god, they just keep coming. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Strorn, tell me you're gonna be okay. You might be okay. I have some confidence greater than zero that you're gonna be okay. Also, hunt hunt that rabbit as well. Not that it's gonna matter. Oh, sweet god. Why? Why? <laughs> you guys are making your way over here, right? Please tell me there's people making... Oh my god, why? Ran oh, sweet Jesus, Randy, why? Why would you do this to me? Is it, is it just the one infestation? That's unusual. Didn't the last one, like, wasn't the last one considerably... Are you guys actually doing anything? You're not doing anything. Okay. Alright. Fine. I should've just told them to come over here. Oh, okay, you're fighting. Oh lord. God help us all. You random alpaca! Okay, and, uh, okay, you rescue him, and you rescue Storin, and with any luck, we'll be able to... Oh, God. Why must life be so difficult? Okay, you guys, uh... Actually, to be honest, I can just unrecruit every everyone, and, uh, they'll probably... Like, the only thing we need to explicitly order is, um... Okay, maybe, like, is to explicitly attack the hive. Everything else should be okay. Well, that, uh... It worked out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna recruit all of you, and let's, uh, kill this. But it is definitely time to wrap this episode up. I think I'm gonna cut away until, like, everything fixes up. And man, that was just, like, one, uh one big set of hurt after the other, wasn't it? But I think everything's gonna... gonna eventually... What is happening? Why does it sound like something is... Oh, sweet Jeebus! Okay, well... That's, uh, that's gonna be a problem, but, uh, I guess, uh, we'll see how that turns out in the next episode. And until then, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.